Hey everyone, Trina here, back with a video after a little time off. Um, today we're going to be doing some image transfers from Inkjet. Um, I've been making these Polaroid, faux Polaroid photos and then transferring them. Um, you can see one of the ones that I did with this um, transparency. So I'm going to try to apply this. I've cut up one of them and we're just gonna play around with that idea. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is add the transparencies and we're gonna take out, roll out some of this very sticky hand sanitizer. If you've been following me on Instagram, you know I've been doing some experiments with hand sanitizer. And this one is my favorite one. So we're just gonna lay this down Make sure I got the right side. Yep. Okay. Now let's put this one down as well. Oh, actually, let's do them one at a time, I think. I think we got time to do them one at a time. I meant to trim that little edge off, but. This one, right? Which side? <laughs> it's always the question. Which side is the right side? I think it's this side. Feels right. Let's check. Yeah, I think that's it. Oops. I'm just gonna roll this out. So the idea is that this deconstructed sort of images, creating other images, I don't know, we shall see. Let's see what we got here. That one didn't come off too well. I think my paper was dry, but that's okay. You can see the first one was much more successful than the second one, but that's okay. I kind of like the the way that turned out. Let's go in with some marks here and just kind of put down before we jelly plate. Just want to make some marks through here. Let's see what we come up with. I don't really want to cover this up. I like what we did. I'm just kind of doing that. Okay, I've mixed up this sort of turquoise blue. I'm gonna start off with that. And I'd mask off what I don't want. I want this pretty light. And I kinda just want a little bit over here. Maybe want a little bit more here on the side. A little bit more up here too. I'm learning that using masks keeps me from getting super carried away. It also makes me plan a little better. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. Um, wipe some of this off. And then I want to do a little bit of this mask or this mesh for my garlic. So I like that shape. Okay, let's take all this off. want it to go like right there. But 
Hope everything's going well with you all. I've been busy working in my business. Um, but yeah, I've been dying to get back in the studio. So this is actually a very nice therapeutic way to end the week. I mixed up this gray color here with some Mars black, what was left over of that blue, and a little bit of yellow. Okay. Added a little bit of gel medium in there. Got a little bit of this blue color still coming through. Let's do. I really just wanted to take some of this away. And it's going to go through here. Again, I don't want to cover up what I just put down here. And I got that really crooked. <laughs> it's really crooked. Oh well. See, I'm out of practice. So I'm really trying to play with these see-through layers through here. Building up slowly rather than fast. What do we think of that? I'm actually really not loving this blue right now. <laughs> now that I put it down with something else. I mean, it's okay. It's just not really my favorite. Okay, let's see what we do next. Okay, I don't like all of that blue. So we have to figure out how to make that not be there. <laughs> it's really bugging me. I don't like it. I meant for it to be a little bit more yellow than that color. And I probably shouldn't have printed it, but it looked a little different before it dried. So there we have it. Um, probably need to take some of that away. I think it might be too much. If it shows through a little bit, that's okay. And let's add, let's add a bit of texture to that. I want a stencil that I like. I'm going to go with this guy here. You know what? That's probably way too much. Maybe... Just a little bit. Okay. If it shows through a little bit, I'm okay with that, but I just, it's just ugh, too bright. Do you think I want to put some yellow okra maybe through there? Some burnt sienna. Okay, that's better. That's much better. Got some yellow okra here. I'm just going to kind of spread out. I think I'm just going to spread it out like this and not use the knife or not use the roller at all. Because I kind of just want it to 
gonna be a pretty thin line. But I'm thinking right through here, or maybe down here. I think down here first, because I really wanna bring this part up. It feels a little disjointed down there. Ooh, that's a nice mark. I'm liking that already. All right, I need one more line. I'm thinking, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we need another line. We got a little bit left. So let's put that, see if we can get it to go here. Don't wanna waste paint. That might be a good second line of that color. Oh yeah, that's nice. We still got a little bit left right here. Let's see if we can get it to come up a little bit on this. Oh yeah. Neat. That actually helps with this color up here. Kind of makes more sense now. Okay, let's come in with a little bit of dry brush black stenciling through here. And I kind of want to continue think through here over into this area a little bit maybe that one little piece right there too some black marks through here with the ladder stencil. All of these, everything I'm using today is linked in the description so you can go take a look. I think I want to add a little bit of these skinnier stencil marks through here. Kind of bring it over to the side. Okay, I mixed up this green color, minty green, to kind of see what we got going on there. I kind of want to bring that color up a little bit. So I've got a sheet of um, jelly paper. And this is a mixture of sap green, a little ultramarine, and white. I'm just going to put this down here, press it down a little bit, and just come in. I just kind of want some marks through here that kind of mimic what we got going on with the sort of scrapito technique. I think I want to continue it. Maybe a little crooked, but I think I want it to be... Put a little bit left here on the color shaper, so I'm just gonna add almost like a line going through here. I'm gonna bring that color up. We need something up there. That's bugging me. Okay, I'm gonna come in with some black and the stencil. Oh, I don't want the color shaper. Almost made a critical error. 
brush works much better for this. I just felt like it needed something up here. I was feeling a little sad. Can things feel sad in your work? Can your work feel sad? Maybe. Hopefully this isn't too bold. Okay. Oh, I like that. Do I want to continue it over? I think I do. But I think I want to use the color shaper here. Yeah, I think that gives us a good see-through back and keeps it bold. Okay, I feel like I need some marks to come down through here. I've got a lot of horizontal and not a lot of anything else. I'm just gonna keep adding black. <laughs> Last thing I want to do is add some dots. I think it needs a little bit of white through here. Oh crap! What I just did. Well, that wasn't good. And I put it right in the middle. Um, let's add a few more over here. Let's balance it out. I hate that I moved that stencil right there. They're not as crisp as I want them to be. Okay, I really don't like how I smudged that, so I'm going to make it look more intentional. Let's put some marks through here. Well, that's kind of cool, actually. Okay. I'm going to pop in a little ink tints. Okay, I'm going to come in with this chestnut graphy tint. I just want some lines through here. Needed a bit more splash of color, I thought. And then maybe this I want not black. Where's the brown? No. What was that one? Cocoa. Oh, that was the one I meant to get the first time. Actually, let's do go with the black. And these are the ink tints. Or I'm sorry, the graphy tints from Derwent. They're a good way to add finishing marks. They are water soluble, so I use them dry and I also use them wet sometimes. But I kind of wanted to put more marks through here. Create some interest. Okay, now I'm being fussy. I'm gonna stop right here. And here it is with the mat. Um, I like what we did here. I like the transfer. I kind of wish I would have moved it to the transfer through here, but I kind of like it still. Um, I think that black mark really helped bring and define that space because it was kind of just sitting there. It almost feels like you're looking through like tree branches, like into the background. 
Um, of course, I like the stencil marks I made. Overall, I think it's pretty good. Um, I hope you enjoy the video. I'll be back next week with another one. Um, and we're going to try to figure out a time when we can all get together live. So I'll be posting a poll up. Look for that in the community. And like and subscribe. Check out the last video over here. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much. Bye.